Hi, welcome to The Writing Engineer. Today, I'll be doing the author trivia tag, originally posted by Len Wolston. I'm going to put the link below in case anyone else wants to do it. And now, on to the questions. Number one, what do I do for a job? My job is rather unique. I work at a small little company, and what we do is we basically shoot lasers at things until they either catch on fire or blow up. Sounds pretty cool, right? It does have its moments, but like any job, it has its not fun moments. Number two. When I was really young, my mother had to bring me to the doctor. Um, the reason why is not important, but during their examination of me, they took a couple of x-rays and they found out that the reason why I had to come in is that I had started to grow a third kidney. That never really went anywhere and it stopped after a little while, but there's not too many people I know of that can claim that. Number, two, number three. When I was in high school, actually starting in my first year, I had been approached by one of the athletics coaches in the high school, and he had asked me to join the competitive diving team. So yes, I did springboard diving at one meter and three meter for five years, and I was good enough to make it into the state finals on several occasions. I don't really do that much anymore. Um, I'm a little too old to be throwing my weight around anymore in the air. Number four. When I was really little, two, three, maybe four years old, I was playing outside at my grandmother's house. Now, I don't remember this, and I only know this because I have been told the story so many times by my mother and my grandmother. I was out with some friends. We were playing in the street, and it was a very safe area, so there was no concern about cars. And I was walking back from playing across the street, and my mother noticed I had a jump rope in my hand. And her first thought was, Andrew didn't leave with a jump rope. Well, as I was skipping closer and closer, she realized that what I had in my hand was not a jump rope, but a snake. I was jumping rope with a snake. Number five. Now that I'm part of the author tube community and have written a couple of books, I'd like to share the fact that I've never really written anything before seven or eight years ago. The idea came to me in a flash while I was in a shower. You may have heard me re regale this story in a couple other videos, so I'm not going to go into it here. But after that happened, after a flurry of writing, it seemed like something like a door had opened up in my mind. And now lots of ideas are flooding into it. I joined a writer's group and that helped. I get a lot of feedback from them, and I've even formed a subgroup where a couple of us exchange manuscripts back and forth and do critiques for each other. Number six, and this probably isn't quite so unique, but I have something in my possession called Aerogel. That's spelled A-E-R-O-G-E-L. Now I'm going to show it to you, but in order for me to do, well, Everybody should have gloves around the house. They're useful if you have to deal with bleach and other harmful chemicals. But in this case, it's not good to touch the aerogel with your bare hands because the oils and stuff can get onto it. And there's no real good way to clean it. So I'm going to show it to you right now. It's pretty tiny, but I'm going to hold it up as close as I can get it. You see that right there? That is aerogel. See how you can see through it? You can see the plug on the wall behind it. What this actually is is glass. But this is glass that is 95% or more air. It weighs next to nothing. But it is such a good insulator that if I'm sure you'll find the iconic image when you look when you look it up on the web, there is a rose with dew on its petals sitting on top of a slab of aerogel and underneath it is a blowtorch. And the rose is just sitting there, all nice and pretty. This stuff is incredibly good at insulating against heat. Number seven. I like to cook. I really, really like to cook. 
I like creating interesting meals for my family. We've done braised short ribs. I've made pork buns and a whole bunch of other uh, recipes that I've found on the web and uh, from Cooks Illustrated. I enjoy making really good meals that people can sit down and not just nourish themselves, but enjoy and make them happy. And that gives me joy. Number eight, and I, I don't usually like to brag, but I'm a bit of a renaissance man. I'm an engineer at heart. I like doing engineering things, which involves a lot of science and taking things apart and doing math. But I've also done a lot of carpentry. I built drawers for the china closet that's built into our house. I helped remodel my bathroom doing drywall and electrical and plumbing and tiling with a couple other guys. I used to be in the Boy Scouts. I can make campfires. I know how to sharpen a knife. Number eight, I've been to an Argentinian wedding. And let me tell you, if you have not been to an Argentinian wedding, you really need to go to one. They're about 10 hours long and there's food and dancing and entertainment and more food and more dancing and more entertainment. It's an absolutely incredible party. If you ever get invited to go to Argentina for a wedding, absolutely say yes. Number 10, I'm a bit of a nerd. I don't know if you've noticed through my videos, but I'm definitely on the nerdy side. I like all things technical. I like to puzzle out problems. And one of the things that blew my mind recently is that, you know, we eat food and we know that powers our bodies. But did you realize that in order to get the energy from our food, we are actually harnessing the released energy as our body breaks the molecular bonds of the food that we eat. That is pretty cool. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a like below and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. If you'd like to be notified immediately of when I post a new video, don't forget to click the little notification bell below. If you'd like to look at any of the projects that I have in process or contact me, all of my contact information will be listed below. Thank you very much and have a good evening. I've used rifles. There's pretty much not anything that I can't learn how to do without setting my mind to it. Actually, that sounds a little bit arrogant, so I think I'm going to cut that part out. Can you say hi, Teddy? Say hi. <laughs> Can you say hi? <gasps> Who is that? That's Teddy. Say hi. Hello.